First mover Asia, Bitcoin could experience price turbulence as $30,000 is tested. Also, venture capitalists and others have abandoned blockchain for the seemingly greener pastures of AI, but they may be falling for the hype of a technology that is yet to prove itself substantially. Good morning. Here's what's happening. Prices as Asian trading begins. Bitcoin maintains above $30,000 despite a minor drop while Ether trades lower insights for investors and others touching the technology world. AI is the latest shiny object. Is their fascination premature? Prices. Eyes on the expiry as Asia opens for trading. Bitcoin has still held past the $30,000 mark at $30,323 flat over the past 24 hours, according to Coindesk data. Ether, meanwhile, is trading at $1,860, down 1.3%. 1 Sean Fernando, chief risk officer at Derivit, told Coindesk in a note that Bitcoin's max pain point, or a part of the market when option holders will experience the most financial loss, while option sellers can be the ones who profit the most, is currently at $26,000, which should alleviate some of the downward pricing pressure after the coming options expiry. With an impressive open interest of over $350 million at the third strike, the approaching quarterly expiration promises an exhilarating conclusion, carrying the potential for price turbulence amidst diverse gamma hedging strategies, Fernando said. Fernando noted that Ether has witnessed substantial institutional selling activity, but its implied volatility remains lower than Bitcoin. Until then, all eyes are on Friday when the quarterly options expire. Insights AI's hype doesn't reflect the reality critics of the digital assets industry say it's buzzword-laden and unsustainable, always chasing the next new trend without much thought to its sustainability. And for the most part, they are right. Over the weekend, APIC, one of China's first crypto publications, announced it was abandoning the field entirely and pivoting to primarily covering AI and the metaverse. Venture capitalists, seemingly bored of blockchain and crypto, have found a new interest in AI. Pitchbook data shows that venture capital funding for crypto is down 80% in the first quarter of 2023, from $12.3 billion to $2.4 billion. Pitchbook's data also shows that AI startups raised $1.6 billion this quarter, and another $10 billion in deals have been announced but have yet to close. For all the hype the AI bulls have for the technology after putting it through its paces, AI is still somewhere between the peak of inflated expectations and trough of disillusionment on a hype cycle. It's slow, expensive, and 15-20% of what comes out of chat GPT's artificial mouth is a hallucination. Certainly, there are some similarities between the hype cycles of AI and enterprise blockchain. Enterprise blockchain was supposed to unlock billions in value through efficiencies, but those that tried to implement it weren't all that impressed, so much so that IBM dismantled most of its blockchain team because of low revenue and Microsoft phased out its Azure-based blockchain cloud services. Even at the height of blockchain mania, the prelude to the COVID bowl, market there wasn't the same fervor as there is with AI. One would think that given the disappointment of the enterprise blockchain bubble bursting, stakeholders would have learned their lesson about enthusiastically embracing new technology. But here we are. Important events. European Central Bank Forum for Central Banking.0 Forum Robinhood and support for Polygon, Cardano and Solana Coindesk TV. In case you missed it, here is the most recent episode of First Mover on Coindesk TV. Bitco CEO addresses terminating prime trust acquisition. Bitcoin starts week above $30,000. Bitco CEO Mike Belch joined First Mover to address why the custodian terminated its acquisition of rival Prime Trust after earlier this month reaching a preliminary agreement to acquire the firm for an undisclosed amount. Meanwhile, Bitcoin BTC is off to a strong start this week, with the world's largest digital asset holding above the $30,000 mark. ARCA head of research Katie Tilati shared her crypto markets analysis. And Johns Hopkins University professor of applied economics and independent institute senior fellow Steve Hank shared his thoughts on the current macroeconomic factors impacting crypto after Russia briefly faced the threat of an armed insurrection over the weekend. Headlines, U.S. Judge rejects Binance, U.S. Complain over SEC press release, the exchange had complained that regulators made misleading public statements about the Binance's handling of customer funds. Uniswaps, Hayden Adams, Q and on weathering the regulatory storm, what's next for DeFi? After the recent release of a proposal for a new V4 version of the decentralized exchange Uniswap, Coindesk Sam Kessler chats with Uniswap Labs CEO Hayden Adams about the case that DeFi is here to stay in his position that the U.S. lags behind on crypto regulation. FTX bankruptcy team says the exchange owed customers $8.7B, commingling and misuse of customer funds occurred from the start at FTX, says current CEO John J. Ray Roman III and senior executives knew of the shortfall as early as August 2022.
Step aside blockchain technology, IMF and BIS have a new crypto buzzword. Financial stewards, including the International Monetary Fund and Bank for International Settlements, say tokenization is the future. They're wrong. SEC sought freeze order despite no evidence that Binance was moving you. S. Customer funds. The SEC pre-crime litigation strategy seemed to annoy Judge Amy Jackson.